Well, China's faith in the profitability of movies is understandable, especially if you look at Brazil. The country's economy is still shrinking, with almost all industries taking a financial hit, except one. Paulo Cabral takes a look at Brazil's robust box office returns. Young people in Brazil, hanging out at the shopping mall, going to the food court for ice cream, maybe, and then a good movie. It's affordable entertainment on a Friday night. And not just for the young, ticket sales have been growing steadily in Brazil, encouraging the industry to expand its operations. We come here very often, usually on Mondays and Fridays. On Monday it's not very busy, but on Fridays it's always packed. Going to the movies is what we usually do to have fun. We don't go to other places much, so we spend our money here. According to Brazil's National Cinema Agency, more than 90 million people bought tickets in the first half of 2015, 20% more than in the first half of last year. Exhibitors opened more than 120 new theatres only this year, bringing the total number to almost 3,000. The movie exhibition industry has been doing very well in Brazil, with uh, rising ticket sales and ambitious plans for the near future. And it's all happening in the middle of a crisis that's slowing down most of the economic sectors in the country. Mexican company Cinepolis is the largest movie theater chain in Latin America, with 340 theaters in operation only in Brazil. It's the fourth largest in the world. This executive says going to the movies is relatively cheap entertainment, and that helps insulate the industry from the recession. During a crisis, people begin to choose better entertainment options. Usually traveling is the first thing that goes, and after that, expensive activities like dining out. Theater is also more expensive. What's cheaper than cinema? Staying at home. As this line suggests, when home gets too dull or the economy gets too gloomy, Brazilians have an affordable option, a quick escape to the movies. Paulo Cabral, CCTV, São Paulo.